I'm progressive, I'm experienced, I have a really strong focus both um, in terms of clubs and societies and in terms of activism um, and I really genuinely have a commitment to students' interests and students' inclusion. Could you please tell us your name, pronouns, degree and your study? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm Grace Wallman. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, uh, and I am in my third year of a Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Laws degree, um, and I major in politics, sorry, not international relations, <laughs> but my second degree recently changed, sorry. <laughs> what is your campaign colour and slogan? Um, my slogan is Grow With Grace, and my campaign colour is Switch Yellow. Um, who is your campaign manager? Um, I have a couple of managers. Um, my main manager is Jordan Anderson. Um, Eliza Crossley and Oscar Chaffee are also helping me and on and on a little bit as well. Um, what is your favourite USU outlet? Um, my favourite USU outlet absolutely would be, I'd say Laneway. It's very private, it's very nice, um, it has really, really good uh, baked potatoes, um, which are very underrated, I would definitely recommend. How would you describe your politics? Um, I describe my politics as very left-wing. I think that it can be kind of nebulous, um, you know, when you say left-wing, kind of what that materially means. But I think in the context of the union specifically, it just kind of means a couple of things. I think that firstly, it means that, that on an intersectional level, um, it's incredibly important to me that, uh, you know, everything, but also particularly in the context of the USU, that inclusivity is really centered. And again, like on an intersectional level, um, whether that's to do with, um, you know, a really genuine commitment to involving students who are financially disadvantaged or aren't from a traditional private school background or, you know, uh, you know from, you know, uh, disabled, for example, as well. Uh, and that is really, really important in the context of, um, how important uh, you know the USU is to student life as well. So definitely that is a large part of my personal politics. I think also in terms of being left wing in, in this context, uh, workers' rights is a really, really crucial issue. Um, I think that certainly um, workers' rights should be prioritised. Think Are there any factions that you're a part of, either present or former? Yep, yeah, um, I am a member of SWITCH. Um, I've never been a member of another faction. Do you intend to continue as an active member of SWITCH as a USU board director if elected? And would you be taking advice from your faction on USU board decisions? So in terms of whether I'd stay an active part of SWITCH, um, yes, I definitely would. Uh, and that's for, you know, some to some extent reasons to do with board but also reasons entirely not to do with board um, in the context of um, you know how engaged a lot of people in switch are with uh, things like the SLC with things like activism on campus um, so for example like uh, Rand the ethnocultural officer is in um, grassroots or switch roots um, Leah Perkins president and having those people um, you know around and sort of being able to engage with them, uh, I think has really helped me kind of develop my personal politics. I think that I would definitely want to continue to do that and continue to be engaged with the space because I, I do think it's definitely positive, even though of course, um, you know, along with every faction, um, it, you know, definitely has, there's room to critique switch as well. Um, I think that in terms of whether I'd take advice from my faction, I think that that's kind of um, contextual in terms of what specifically that advice is or, you know. So I think that, for example, like firstly, um, if it was an in-camera matter and I would be breaking fiduciary duties to talk to my faction about it, I would not talk to my faction about it. Um, you know, I might talk about the principles behind it maybe, but like, I don't think that I, um, I wouldn't be breaking fiduciary duties to discuss things with them. And in terms of, and you know, I would definitely sort of consult my faction in the sense that like, I think that a lot of these people are really engaged and I think they have, you know, a really worthwhile perspective, especially being engaged with, you know, things that I, you know, can't be directly engaged with just because of opportunity costs, the time you spend kind of doing things on board. So, you know, things like being in autonomous OB roles in the SRC and seeing their perspective and hearing about the consultations that they've had with students is really important to me and I think a really good insight. But that being said, at the end of the day on board, I would be 
voting and making decisions independently of my faction. Um, and that's, you know, for a few reasons, but also it's structurally to do with, you know, kind of like how Switch is, or Switch Roots is. It's, you know, it's non-hierarchical, it's non-binding, um, and it's definitely very pluralist in nature. So there's no real mechanism for me to be bound by my faction to make certain decisions. At the end of the day, I'd be acting in the best interest of students, even if my faction's consultation is very important to me. Well, to my, you know, my politics, my interpretations, you know. Have you um, campaigned for any candidates or been nominated in any previous campus elections? Um, do you mean like in general? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, or just for the USU? Um, so I uh, previously was um, nominated by Switch to be welfare officer last year. Um, that was because I was, uh, before that, selected to be convener of the Welfare Action Group. So I think that was just kind of what informed the decision to um, put me up for that. And that was a really rewarding role that I think um, I, I put a lot of effort into because I think that it is traditionally really underserved um, as such a really crucial OB role. Um, you know, of course, noting that it's unpaid, uh, but I think that was really you know, useful to my understanding of um, you know, welfare on campus and gave me a lot of institutional knowledge. I also was a counsellor um, and I ran under switch routes. Um, I currently sit on um, academic board and uh, FAST faculty board, so kind of um, bringing the student perspective and students' interest to the decisions that are made there and unfortunately um, that's, you know, kind of combating a lot of sort of the corporatization cuts and things like that. Um, I also am currently the chair of standing legal for the SRC. Um, I think that is also a stupid position that I probably should have front loaded, but um, yep, yeah, so uh, I have some influence in terms of the interpretation of the regulations and making um, recommendations to do with the regulations. And um, I was also uh, SAL's inaugural disabilities officer last year. Um, and that was the first year of that portfolio and definitely was um, a really important part of um, you know, learning about disability, learning to publicly identify as disabled as I am kind of in this election running, you know, it's a very important part of kind of my interpretation of my platform. Firstly, I think that there needs to be a really true sense of left-wing representation on board. Um, I think that that is really informed by my personal experience. When I was a uh, SELS disabilities officer um, in the first year of that sort of portfolio, um, I think what I learned was there are a lot of individuals kind of, you know, in clubs and societies and in the university, you know, in engaging in USU things and I think really trying to genuinely build upon inclusivity um, and you know, work towards having um, a union that is, you know, more um, diverse and, you know, isn't so traditionally dominated by, you know, people who have a lot of time and, you know, are maybe privately educated, maybe more financially well off um, and, you know, probably, you know, more white, more male um, and all those sorts of things. Uh, and, you know, not disabled. <laughs> um, I think that sort of certainly throughout that process, I realised that while there are a lot of people who are putting in genuine work towards that, um, there kind of isn't enough support for people um, on an individual level to really do that. And I think that's kind of where the USU comes in for me. Insofar as, um, you know, when I was disabilities officer, I did have support from some people, but it was really, really tough. As in, you know, I wasn't exactly sure how to make connections with faculty as part of a faculty society. I wasn't exactly sure how to kind of like build a culture of disability. I wasn't sure how to do any of those things, even though I really wanted to make a change. And I think that, you know, despite the fact that I think that I went into it with, you know, not as much support as I think I would like other people to have, I think that I was able to be really successful, you know, insofar as I won um, a USU Clubs Award, I won, um, Best digital program. I was able to set up things like having direct meetings with the dean and the disabilities officer, and I felt that like with the success that I was able to, I think, achieve, um, I want to help the USU. Like I want to be part of board because I think strategically, the USU needs to be supporting the work that people are doing across campus in you know their own organizations as in part of clubs and societies um, 
because it really should not be up to the individuals alone to make those sorts of changes. Um, and I think that because I have that kind of institutional knowledge, so you know, I have set up the first year of a portfolio, um, and that you know help me understand clubs and societies and how they operate and you know, regulations and all those sorts of things a lot better. Um, I'd really like to help other people achieve that and not do it you know, in a way that is so reliant on individual people putting in a lot of hard, often unpaid work. And that of course like, locks out a lot of people who you know, can't afford to do that or aren't in a position to do that for whatever reason. Um, I think that's really important to me. Um, and I don't think that's just about disabilities. I think that's also just about any kind of um, access of inclusivity. Uh, and I think that, yeah, I think that is definitely very much linked to having left-wing politics and left-wing representation as well. Um, it's very important to me to have a left-wing board. I think that, um, you know, things that sort of left-wing board directors have been supporting uh, under the status quo even, we obviously could be built upon a lot, like, you know, supporting the staff strikes and things like that. Um, I think that that could be done I think those are good things. I think that more could be done. I think better things could be done. And you know, of course, left-wing students on campus, of which there are a lot, I think deserve really good representation. And I think all students deserve to be in an environment of inclusion. And I think that that, um, I, don't, I feel that I have the skills for that and the knowledge and I think the drive and the genuine commitment to it, which is why I decided to run. And I want to be that voice.